Hi, it's Jill again with Crick Flicks. Um, today I'm going to be doing yet another um, two page 12 by 12 layout for little baby Nolan. Um, I'm just about done with the pictures that I have so far. I've only got two more layouts to do and however that's going to be shortly lit because she's sending more pictures to me tomorrow. Um, the card um, stack that or the paper stack that I'm using I've used this before absolutely love it animal crackers by die cuts with a view um, I got this at joint fabric uh, I used it numerous times Ooh, I just saw that page I don't remember seeing that I must and realized this morning that I actually have two packages two stack packs and so I'm thrilled to death because it's one of my favorite especially for little boys Anyway, um, that's the package that I'm going to be using. And the colors that I picked out were this little mini, mini monster um, page, and then this green. And this is a uh, craft stock or craft paper, regular craft brown that I used on the back. Um, I took both of these these sheets and cut them in half by six inches. Then I took my Martha Stewart punch that is um, a mommy and daddy and, and the children holding hands here together. So I did that in red and taped it to the back of the green so I have the little people standing across here where I put this together. And it's got about, I don't know, maybe a sixteenth of an inch of the um, craft paper showing around. I didn't cut this down. I, I see somebody that I really love the way she does her pages that cuts them down. Um, I, don't, I don't do that. Um, I'm not that, I don't know. I, I totally fine with it not being framed out. Now, the pictures that, the page that I'm going to do first is, which one was I going to do? I'm going to do this one. And let me get my pictures over here. Now, that one goes over on here. This one is going on my first page. And I have some little sayings. I actually, I told you I used those little stacks, um, packs of sayings. I have boxes, these little bins these little tins here are full of sayings for all occasions. Um, again, I only use these when I'm scrapbooking, so, um, which now I am on a scrapbook rampage here. Let me see, I'm going to put my pictures down first. And the saying that I picked out, because he's got a different expression on all of these, were the mini moods. And let me start by putting my pictures down first. I did my paper mats in red and as I've mentioned before um, I like to do I like to cut my paper mats around my pictures so my pictures are never the same size and and I said in one of my videos that I was working um, on some that I watched or did yesterday. I know some folks were looking at them. And I was going on about it was his three-month page. It was his three-month. He was a month old because um, he was just born at the end of September. And I was working on October, Halloween. And I go, oh, here's his three-month pictures. He was barely a month old. I did catch it, but I wasn't going to fix the video because I don't think anybody out there really cared and let me see I've got um, I did my mini monsters I did a Google search to look for something that kind of looked like the ones in the paper um, I found a whole bunch of them they were all individual because I find that they're they print out better um, to make my um, clip art if they're individual pictures instead of groups and then I put the black on the back and I'm going to kind of scatter them around here and I'm going to alternate with the pop dot which one I think I'm going to pop dot 
a little orange one. What I, <laughs> I um, in the past, that's why I have so much stash of, of um, die cuts and things when I'm scrapbooking is because to me, it is way too much work to make one, I, one die cut. So when I do them, I do an entire page. I do numerous ones and then I just store them in baggies and I have them put away by theme. Um, and so today, that's what I did is I cut out a ton of die cuts so that um, I'm going to be working on my grandson and my granddaughter's books and I loved a lot of these die cuts so I'm going to be using these in particular that I've used on Nolan I'm going to be using on my grand two of my grandsons my brand new little preemie and my um, two-year-old grandson I gotta get their books caught up and an update on Wyatt who's now nine weeks old um, gestationally he will be a week tomorrow on his, his adjusted age but he went to the doctor and he's doubled his birth weight so he's doing absolutely fantastic and I was going to put some buttons on here and I forgot to plug in my glue gun so while I'm finishing up on the layout number two I'm going to plug in my my supposedly cordless glue gun it's not cordless it just has a removable cord okay I tried my little sewing thing here. I don't know if any of you have ever used these. I think they're so cool to do stitching around images and photo mats and things. I love it. However, I can't I can't seem to figure out how to keep it from knotting up and slipping around and I don't know. So I got it out to remind me to practice and see if I can figure it out. Let me put these two together and Oh, I know what I wanted to put on there too, and I just tossed out my paper that was left in this cup. Oh, here it is right here. There's my practicing of my stitching. Ha! Didn't do so good. I'm going to put my mini moods. There's one left on there. And I'm just going to stick it in the middle here. And actually, I also bought these punches that you can punch in the center of something that I thought was such a neat idea and cool concept never used it um, I have more stuff that I've never used than than I think anybody it sounds really cool in theory but a lot of it is not so much the novelty wears off by the time the item has the tags removed. Let me see here. I probably am cutting this down a little bit too. I use the inside of my cutter, um, the little frame here, as my guide when I do my photo mats to get them even um, all the way around. Whoops! Get my finger out of the way there. There we go. And let me see, do I want that there or there? Uh, I'm going to do it down here. And here we go, the pop dots. I don't know what I'd do with all these. Without these, I should say. Not with all these. I tell ya. I am, I am um, having a hard time talking lately. I know I talk a lot, but, uh, but stuff's just rambling out of my mouth. Not flowing very easily. I'm looking out here to see because I heard a car and I don't want my dogs to start their greetings. Can't stand the barking. Makes me crazy. And I worked all day and I have to muzzle the one while I'm working because I'm on the phone. And so the minute I'm done working I like to take the muzzle off. But if I'm filming I don't want her to bark because I'm liable to liable to hurt her. Dog on it. Sorry, Fizzy. I'm talking about you. She's not doing anything. Shame on me. 
Let me see. I think I'll put that one up there and that one down there. Nope, 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 nope. Not going to work that way. Let me put that one down there. Okay. And. And thank you to all of you viewers who have been so encouraging with my scrapbooking. Because I know you're used to watching me do something so not in the scrapbooking field. However, scrapbooking is actually where I started started my um, ventures on my Etsy shop. I was going to do scrapbooking for folks and my daughter kept saying people that like scrapbooks will do them themselves but that's not always the case because I do have people that want me to do them for them um, and I don't if I listened to everybody and what they told me I would um, be in dire straits I just do what I want to do my husband will vouch for that okay and these little monsters, mini monsters, there's a mini monster um, cartridge that I have, a Cricut cartridge. And I actually was going to go in there and, and do those, but decided I didn't feel like it. And I don't know, unfortunately, and for those of you that are Cricut users out there, um, I really apologize because I use the Cricut and scales and... and um, did a whole whole lot different on my videos prior to getting my silhouette cameo um, but I I don't know I, I've lost I like the silhouette so much so much better that I'm having a hard time maybe 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 down the road I will start to do videos with the the Cricut again I really do like the Cricut Craft Room. However, I do really have a hard time with the um, the inability to do the stuff that I really like doing, which is, oops, um, layering. You can color if you have the Imagine. You know, you can print and color and layer them, but you can't cut them out. It'll cut out all the pieces. There's no way to cut just the outline of it. This one's, oh, I love this little monster. Now, I am going to take and just randomly put some buttons on here. Oh, and I'm going to randomly throw them on the floor. Oh, I tell you. And we'll do with my, oh, there it comes. Here it comes. Again, I do not like this machine and would not recommend it to anyone. This, unless somebody's got one out there that can share with me something that is positive about it. The only reason I haven't gone out to Hobby Lobby is when I get done work at 4.30, I don't feel like going anywhere. So, I don't. I stay home. Let me just put a little button here and I'm going to put a little red button here and I'm going to do a different color here. Different color blue. And I got a little globby glue there. Let me get that off and Put one here, here, and I think I'm going to call that quits with the buttons. Anyway, we're going to call that layout complete. Um, again, the little mini monsters I just, actually I did a Google search and said mini monsters clip art. And that's what I got. I'm going to come over here and show you my finished layouts. There we have page one and the little 
googly-eyed monsters and then here is page two with my buttons and there are the little this this one right here I think is the cutest I really like him I think he's really cute and there we go the next page I'm going to be doing um, this is actually the same month this is November but I didn't want to do two pages of Thanksgiving and since he just these were just random pictures of of um, the baby I didn't do a Thanksgiving theme on it but the next one I'm going to be doing is going to be a Christmas layout so stay tuned and have a good night